right, here we are for another project. This project is also in the Kendall bathroom. Somebody was brushing their teeth with the toilet lid open and dropped their toothbrush. It went into the toilet right as it was flushing and the toothbrush is now stuck inside the toilet, which is not allowing it to flush very well. Who is that somebody who dropped the toothbrush? Mom. Out? Mom, that's right. So we are going to, today, we're going to take the toilet off of where it's seated and try to get the toothbrush out from underneath. So the first step is to get all the water out of the, the toilet. So we're going to uh, turn off the water on the back. And then once we got the water off, we'll flush all the water out of the toilet. So here behind here is a little squirrel thing that we squirrel so it stops the water and then when we flush the toilet the, the water comes down and we're gonna open that. Yeah, so there's a bunch of water here in the back, so we're gonna flush this. <laughs> get all the water out of there because when we pull the toilet out we don't want water pouring out onto the floor. So that gets a lot of the water out but there's still some. Okay the next step is there's still some water in the toilet so what we're gonna have to do we put on our gloves so that we don't get dirty because it's toilet water. We're going to take a big sponge that we normally use to wash the car. We're going to sponge out all that water. So you put, go down in here. Hazel, you can come get up. And you go like this. We want to get all that water out of there. Look at all the water, guys. I know, well, we gotta get, go back up a little bit so we can, they can see what we're doing. So you can see here, here the core is putting the sponge in there. Um, can we stop for a second? Yeah. Okay, so we've got all the water out of the toilet. We sponge it all out. If you want to show, see? No water in here, nice and dry. No water in the back. Nice and dry down here. Can I feel? Now we're ready to... Can I feel? Yep. Yeah. Now we're ready to take the bolts off. Dry. There's some bolts down here on the bottom. Yep. That we want to... actually took the... There's these little things that go on top of it that make it look nicer. I already took them off and I sprayed it with some WD-40 last night to kind of get some of the corrosion off overnight so it, it won't stick too much. So hopefully we can get it off of the, uh, off the floor now. All right, let's get our wrench here. We have a wrench and our tools and so we can screw it off. That's right. Cause that was it. And so you see the thing she, she's putting it off? That's what she's gonna screw out. Yeah, this is the thing that attaches the, it, it, that fits any of them, but yeah, right there. Wow. How are we going to take that out even? Well, we have to spin, spin it, and then when we get it out, then we have to, when we get it out, we can take up like half the toilet. It would be so cool. I know. You almost did it, Dad. Cause you're a strong guy. I know, Dad is a strong guy. Oh, thanks, ladies. These bolts off. Well, we can. Well, we could. If we had a stronger guy. <laughs> 
So we've been trying to get these bolts off and they're not coming off. And I think here's the new bolt that we're gonna use and here's what I think is going on. The nut is, cor is corroded so much that it's stuck onto this bolt. And so when we turn this top thing, the whole bottom thing is turning and we can't, it's not pulling this nut off. So I think what we're gonna have to do is get a hacksaw and cut through the bolt so we can get the toilet off. And then we'll use these when we put it back on. All right, let's go to the garage and go. get our hacksaw. Okay, we got a hacksaw. We're gonna try to cut the top of the bolt. It's not a hacksaw. It's a hacksaw. We're gonna try to cut the top of the bolt off. I don't know if this is gonna work though, because... It's so tiny. Pretty hard to fit in there. No, I don't think this is gonna work. All right, so we had trouble kind of getting the hacksaw underneath the nut. And so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna cut straight down, straight through the nut. And that's the way we're gonna get it. Yeah, that way it comes through. Well, it looks like we're gonna have to saw. We're sawing the bolts straight down, but it's gonna take a while. Straight down the middle. Yeah. yeah. A long, long while, so it might not be easy. Well. You gotta be very patient for this type of work. I'll tell you what to stop, okay, Gloria? No, he's fine. So there he is, and he's daddy sawing it right down the middle. Okay, after a lot of effort, we were able to cut through the bolts. If you see, we got them off on both sides and the whole toilet is loose. So now we're going to take it off and see what's underneath. Watch out, Hayes. Back up, all the way. This is oh, and I've also here. disconnected the water from the toilet. Oh, good. So that we can lift it. I'm totally freaking out. All right, very heavy. Watch out, watch out, ladies. Oh. Okay. Okay, watch back, back up, Gloria. Is all I want to. Sisters, sister, okay. and ever. After Ooh, yuck. Yeah, that is really yuck. That's not good. Mom, your toothbrush went down there. Yeah, I don't think so. Probably. Let's look in here. Okay, so what we did on the bottom where the toilet seat sits is there was a big ring of old wax and we scraped it off with a putty knife and threw it away. It's very disgusting. So we put this rag in here so that none of the noxious fumes come up. But we still have to figure out how to get that toothbrush out of there. So let's look in the bottom, film the bottom. See, here's the bottom. We looked in there, we couldn't find anything. So I'm gonna try a couple things. We got a bungee cord. So I try to get this up in here, see if we can. Get anything? No, not get anything. The other thing I was thinking is maybe HDMI cable. What do you think? Maybe. Maybe we'll try to go through this way. Tell me if you see it coming out. I don't see it. No. Oh, wait. Oh, got it. Got the toothbrush. We, we solved the mystery. This is mom's dentist, so it must be mom's toothbrush. Great, guys. All right, so this is the new wax ring. So take the plastic off. 
Now we're gonna put it in the bottom of the toilet. I'm gonna put the new bolts on and then we'll put the toilet back where it's supposed to go. All right, so I'm gonna clean off some of this gum. It's pretty nasty. This is old, old wax from the old ring. And then this wax is gonna seal the toilet to the bottom. So you, put, you just put this on here like this and that wax is going to create a seal when we put this back on the hole. Hazel, can you grab, give me the uh, bolts, please? No? Okay. I can do this. I gotta get the bolts here. These are the bolts that hold the toilet in. Now I'm going to put the toilet. toilet. So we're going to lift the toilet up and we're going to put it on to these bolts. Um, and this is probably the trickiest part of the whole thing. So I might need a helper to help make sure the bolts go through the holes when I lift it up. I can do it. Okay, hit pause. All right, here's my helper, Hazel. And she's going to help with, make sure the bolts go through the holes because I'm going to be holding this heavy toilet. Whoa! Go, Daddy, go. This is an old toilet, so it is probably go, got a big daddy, go. tank on it. Go. go, daddy, go, go, daddy, go. Yeah, just a little farther. Now put it down. Now put it down. You see the bolt? Nope. We're past the bolts. There. There. I'm doing what I can see. Put on the bolt. On that bolt. And the other side. It's good. It secures the toilet in place so it doesn't move. Okay, so we're still we're just tightening these bolts to hold the toilet in place. Tight, but not too tight. So we've got the toilet all set back up. It works. We hooked up the water. You can see it flushes beautifully. No leaks. Um, we got mom her toothbrush back, so she'll be happy that she can brush her teeth again. And thanks for watching our show. Bye. Yeah.